What's up guys, Steve here with your stimulus check and stimulus package update, and there is a lot to get caught up on. We have breaking news unfolding today, so I'm gonna get you guys caught up on the latest as we've received word that Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, let us know today that the bill will be ready this week, and it's gonna be voted on in the House next week. And she said, regardless of whether GOP senators get on board or not, they're gonna be pushing this next stimulus package through. And we already got a response. Republicans said, if you push this through, through reconciliation without bipartisan support, you will regret it. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some video footage and some articles that just came out. And in addition to that, we are now seeing 50 members in the House all coming together to make a big push to increase the stimulus checks and make those stimulus checks monthly payments. That's right. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the latest. This is unfolding today, January the 28th. So I'm gonna get you guys caught up. We're gonna dive right in, but before we do, if you like and appreciate these video updates, just take a second to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button, leaving comments, and sharing these videos out to anybody that you think might need to see them. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much. And also, if you're not already a part of the viewing community, the Ram Fam, now they're calling it, be sure to smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos, you can be notified right away. And if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well, at Steve. Ram 3. I do my best to respond to as many questions here on YouTube as I can, but I don't get to them all, so Instagram is also a great way to reach me as well. But now let's go ahead and dive into all of this breaking news that's unfolding today, January the 28th, regarding the next stimulus package and stimulus checks. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right in and let's start off with these stimulus checks. So, link in the description below to this article that just came out about 30 minutes ago, if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And it says, lawmakers push Biden to offer reoccurring $2,000 stimulus checks. As Congress debates President Joe Biden's request for $1.9 trillion in pandemic relief funding, including a third stimulus check pegged at $1,400, some Democratic lawmakers are pushing for even bigger response. It says $2,000 monthly payments until the pandemic is history. Now, Representative Omar, a Democrat from Minnesota, and more than 50 other House members are urging the Biden administration to back such a policy. According to a signed letter sent to Mr. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, signers of the January 28th letter, that's today, also include other leading House progressives such as AOC and Rashida Tlaib. One more check is not enough during this public health and economic crisis, they wrote. Family members cannot afford to wait for eight months between payments. To truly build back better, families need stability and certainty through ongoing relief. They cannot be at the mercy of congressional gridlock. And here's a tweet that just came out today from Omar. It says $2,000 monthly payments until the pandemic is over. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think $2,000 monthly stimulus checks would help us through this time of pandemic crisis? Or do you think that's nice, but it's not necessary at this time and it's gonna hurt our budget, our economy, and in the long run, it's not a good idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, keep in mind the fact that they need to make a decision on this right away because we're hearing that this bill uh, it's going to be ready to, to go this week, and they're going to be voting on it in the House next week. We heard this today from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, and she said they're going to push this through one way or another. Link in the description below to this article that just came out today that says, Pelosi says House will take first steps toward passing pandemic relief next week with or without GOP. The House will forge ahead next week with a process that would allow Democrats to pass pandemic relief without Republican support. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said, Thursday today. The California Democrats said her chamber will move to pass a budget resolution, the first step toward approving legislation through reconciliation. The process would enable the Senate Democrats to approve an aid measure without GOP votes. Pelosi said the House plans to pass a resolution and send it across the Capitol, where the Senate will also have to pass a budget measure. She expects that by the end of the week, we'll be finished with the budget resolution. Now we're gonna be watching a video clip of what Nancy Pelosi actually had to say. But before we do, we're gonna continue reading as what we're hearing is that Joe Biden, the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, they're all saying that they want to get Republican support on this. They want bipartisan support to pass this through Congress. However, they're saying that Republicans are saying the overall price tag is too high. They're not gonna to agree to it. And Democrats are saying, that's fine. If you don't agree to it, if we can't come to any sort of resolution, we're gonna push it through regardless. And Republicans are saying, 
you're going to regret it if you do. So let's continue reading. The article says, the speaker said she hopes Democrats can still win GOP support for President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion rescue package as the White House holds talks with bipartisan lawmakers. But the House wants to prepare in case Democrats fail to win over Republicans skeptical of the price tag. We have to be ready, she said. Earlier Thursday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer signaled that the chamber would also move to pass a budget resolution soon. He said the Senate, as early as next week, will begin the process of considering a very strong pandemic relief bill. So just in case, it looks like Democrats, they're getting ready. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual video footage of what Nancy Pelosi had to say. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Yes, sir. Uh, do you believe that... You say reconciliation is is a, a backstop that you'd rather have a bipartisan yes. bill. Always. You, you're you're. It sounds like you're not ho you're not optimistic that that will happen. That is that a, a correct? Well, we have to be ready. I do think that we have more leverage getting cooperation on the other side if they know we have an alternative as well. But I would think if we're talking about additional funding for vaccines to be, uh, dis and their dis not only production, but their distribution. If we're talking about putting money into the pockets of the American people with the direct payments, if we're talking about supporting state and local government so that they're able to implement all these things, open our schools, our healthcare workers, our police and fire first responders, our teachers, our teachers, our teachers, transportation, sanitation, food workers. I would hope that uh, Republicans would be supportive of that. Many of the localities that will benefit have have uh, Republican mayors and Republican county executives. So I would hope that that we would be able to do it in a bipartisan way. And uh, again, I've said if there's an argument that needs to be made to people that we need more funding for the vaccines, more distribution uh, resources, more of the vials and syringes and all that make it happen, uh, I think many of the Republicans would be supportive of that, and I hope so. But we cannot not have it happen. We have to act, and that, that is why I said we want it to be bipartisan always, but we can't uh, surrender if they're not going to be doing that. Instead, we will pass it. Thank you all. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As we heard Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi say that she hopes that GOP leaders will get on board since this is funding for vaccines, stimulus check, unemployment benefits, and things that we need during this time of crisis. However, we are hearing from Republicans that even though they agree with those provisions, they're saying this is too much, too fast, the overall price tag is too high, and they're not on board. And we're hearing Democrats respond back and saying, if you do not get on board, we're gonna push this through without you. And we've already heard the response from Republicans. So link in the description below to this article if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And it says, Republicans warn sidestepping them on stimulus would shatter bipartisan hopes. And it says, with a growing consensus among Democrats about passing pandemic relief through budget reconciliation, which would eliminate the need for GOP support, Senate Republicans are warning the consequence of doing so could be to imperil any hope of bipartisan cooperation in the coming terms. And it says, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told reporters at a press briefing today, Thursday, that Democrats will use reconciliation, which allows legislation structured as a budget bill to pass the Senate with a simple majority. If Democrats can't get that necessary 10 GOP votes for a standalone pandemic relief bill. Now, the announcement, which includes a plan to bring a budget resolution to the floor next week, comes as Republicans in Congress have largely rejected President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus plan, including moderates like Senator Mitt Romney. Despite most rejecting the plan as too expensive or too early, given that Congress passed a $1 trillion stimulus package about one month ago, Republicans also say that sidestepping them would be a mistake. Senator Todd Young warned that it would signal that the president's message about unity was simply rhetoric as opposed to substance. Senator Pat Toomey said that Democrats passing a relief plan through reconciliation would make it clear that they're done with bipartisanship. And Senator Shelley Moore said it's too early for them to really shoot their biggest 
opportunity, predicting that they would come to regret that about three or four months down the road. But leading progressive senators on Thursday expressed resolve about the plan to use reconciliation. Senator Elizabeth Warren argued, we don't have any time to waste and the Biden response package is what we need and we need it now. Talking about reconciliation, that's what it's there for. So you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but it sounds like a stimulus package is gonna be on its way here very soon, one way or another. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen with those stimulus checks, if they're gonna be any larger. And know that as information rolls out, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And once again, if you made it this far and you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And to stay up to date on everything rolling out right now, smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos, you can get notified right away. And if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well, at steveram3. Well, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. I'll be sure to keep you up to date as more information rolls out. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.